Advanced Sudoku Strategy Skyscraper Explained Here are some of the technical terms needed to facilitate the explanation. House, it can be a row, a column, or a block. Conjugate pair, when a candidate appears in only two cells in a house, the two cells form a conjugate pair for that candidate. True, the candidate under consideration in a cell is the solution to the cell. False, the candidate under consideration in a cell is not the solution to the cell. Here is a partially solved expert level Sudoku that seems to have hit a logjam. However, the logjam can be broken by a skyscraper for candidate 9. A skyscraper consists of two conjugate pairs. Each pair is in a column, highlighted in green. Furthermore, two candidates, when from each pair, are in the same row highlighted in green, whereas the other two do not line up. The two candidates sharing the row are circled in red whereas the other two are circled in blue. For this example, the nines in red circle represent the base of the buildings, whereas the nines in blue circle represent the top of the buildings. This is a standard pattern for skyscraper. However, logic doesn't care which way is up. Therefore, a skyscraper may be upside down or lying on its side. When it is lying on its side, the base of the buildings will be in a column and the conjugate pairs will be in rows. By the rules of Sudoku, the two nines circled in red cannot be both true because they are in the same row. Then it follows that the two nines circled in blue cannot be both false because one red nine and one blue nine make a conjugate pair. Consequently, the candidate nine in the pink cells must be false because they can see both nine circled in blue. And so, they can be eliminated, making the two pink cells naked singles of two, and the logjam is broken. This is the final solution. It should be mentioned, in all fairness, that the skyscraper isn't the only strategy that can break the logjam. An X-wing is the other strategy that can also break the logjam for this particular puzzle. Thanks for watching.